Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing an Etsy review slash things I repurchased. Um, this was a vote that I put on Instagram about a week ago, I think, and um, asked everyone and gave people like three or four different options and the Etsy one won. So uh, that's what we're gonna be doing today. I don't have too many products cause I haven't had an Etsy account forever, but these products I have repurchased many times, well, a few of them at least, and um, I'm excited to show them to you guys, so let's just get right into it. Starting off in the jewelry department, um, I purchased this from an, a shop called H HCL Designs. Um, she's kind of local for me, uh, and um, it's just a necklace that is full of beaded pearls that just dangle when you put it on. It's like a choker, you can wear it as a choker, you can just wear it as a bracelet if you wanted to, and um, obviously you get the idea, it would just wrap around. And um, yeah, this is really cute. Um, trying to show you guys how you can wear, <laughs> wear this, but it's hard to do it by myself. Um, you get the idea. Um, you can wear it like that, you can wear it um, around your neck like that. It's really cute. It's very versatile and I totally recommend this and if you want I can put all the links that I have of these items in the description. The next piece of jewelry that I will be showing you is from a shop called Jewelverse. Um, these are basically um, beads that you can put around you and wear like with crop tops and swimsuits. You can wear them in the water. Um, I think they're very, very cute and you can do a lot with them. You can even like wind them up like this and wear them as like a really large bracelet that dangles. I think it's kind of chic. Um, and then you could even wear them as like necklaces if you wanted to, which would look stupid with my hair like this. And I have to be careful because I just got a new piercing just yesterday right there. Um, but yeah, you can do that. There's many things that you can do with these beads, and I think my favorite way is to wear them with a crop top or a swimsuit. Um, again, I can link this purchase down below. So the next thing that I have is for my people who have severe anxiety or people who um, just pick their fingers or, you know, just have trouble with anxiety altogether no matter how severe it is. It's called um, the Squeeze Aromatherapy Dough. This one is lavender and lemon, and it's 100% pure essential oils. And what it does is it gives off this lovely scent. The last one I bought was actually lavender, but it had finally gone bad. It's getting to the point where you couldn't really squish it anymore. So basically what you do is you just take it out of here, or you can keep it in here, of course, but I like to take it out. And so all you do, is just squeeze it until you feel calm or you can like mold it because it's moldable it's just dough so it doesn't like come apart it's not like slime where it just stretches but it does come apart um but the good part about this is that um it really does help the stress the only thing i don't love about it is that it does leave a slight film on your hands the first few uses but it kind of goes away or you get used to it over time um, I personally love this and I have repurchased from the shop twice now um, and the dough lasts a really long time so does the scent. The scent from the other one never really went away. It was just the fact that the dough was just going bad and um, I had used it so much and it had stuff all in it. I don't know. Oh I can't stop playing with it now. Um, I love this dough. I can't say enough about this shop. It's literally from call. it's literally I'm pretty sure yeah, the shop is called The Squeeze. Um, totally recommend this stuff. It works like a charm and they have tons of different scents as well. You don't have to just get lavender and lemon. You don't have to just get lavender. Those are just my personal preferences when it comes to having aromatherapy. Excuse me, I had a hiccup. But yeah, um, I'll link this as well. Another thing about that aromatherapy dough, it's great. It's small to travel with. I've taken it with me on airplanes because I get anxiety on airplanes sometimes. And um, I've taken it on long car rides. It's easy to just stick in your bag and go. And it's easy to just play around with when you're doing school or work or just chilling and you just need to keep your hands busy. 
So the next thing on our list today is um, three body products. Um, and that basically is all I've got. Cause like I said, I haven't made many Etsy purchases and um, I've only had my Etsy account for maybe a year or two. So maybe three actually, I just haven't made that many orders. So I have a body whipped lotion from a shop called Pretty Farm Girl. It's for people who have eczema and while it is scented, it's like lightly, this one is lightly scented compared to the one I will show you in a moment that I've used a bit more. It is whipped body butter. It feels super soothing on the skin. I'm just gonna do a little bit since I have just another body product to show, but it leaves you feeling super moisturized and um, I can't say enough about this stuff. It feels really, really nice and it's lightly scented enough where it doesn't irritate um, skin that's already breaking out, which is a problem that I have found to be with any product that I use. And if you've been here long enough too, you know that I can't use almost all the drugstore products that they have on the market. So I gotta search elsewhere. And if I gotta pay extra to have my skin feel and look nice, then I will. Um, this thing was pretty pricey. I think this was 22 bucks, maybe 23 or 24. I'd have to look it up to remember, but I honestly really like it and I haven't used it as much as the next one I'm going to show you, but it is very, very nice. So this next one is the one that I have used a lot. It's from Olive Drab Farm and it's called Goat Milk Body Lotion in the um, scent to Lavender Dreams. This is also goat milk based as well, by the way. Um, almost all the products that I have are goat milk based products because that's what I find works best with skin that's irritated. Um, and my skin breaks out to the simplest of things. So people with eczema as well, I feel like um, goat milk soap and goat milk lotions work great for people like us. And people with dry skin too. It's not too drying and it's not scented to the point where it's like overpowering. You know what I mean? Um, this one is kind of a little more scented than the other one, but I really love it. It smells literally like a lavender dream. Um, and I love it. It's, it's so like soft on the skin and this is what it looks like. Um, you kind of just rub it in. It's a little lighter than the one by Pretty Farm Girl in this. Um, and for this as well to take it. Um, when I went to travel over the summer on an airplane, I just put it into like a travel pump so that way I could bring it. That's why it's like halfway gone. And I have yet to finish the travel pump because I kind of travel with the travel pump. So I'm not wasting the lotion all the time like that. But yeah, I really like this product. It, I think was about, I want to say $15. It could have been less. I'd have to look it up, but I totally recommend this product too. It's definitely helps my eczema from flaring up and you can um, put a thin layer on even after you shave so that way you don't get razor bumps and stuff. I mean, it's just great lotion overall. Just love it. I actually remember there's a few things that I had got for me and Connor. Gotten, sorry, English. Um, and so I have one of those things to show you here. Um, I'll show you that after I show you this goat milk soap though. I haven't unwrapped it because I already have one that I'm currently using. And with these, I um, recommend that you get one of those soap holders, like ones that hold big squares like these, because these are thick. This is probably like an inch or so thick, maybe a little bit thicker, but they're quite large and they're hard to fit and um, carry around with you if you're traveling. So I just stick it in a plastic bag when it's in one of those, um, things that help it lather um but this lather is great without it and the best part about it is that it helps with eczema relief and it even has like little things in it i forgot what it's called but it's great because it literally um has stuff in it to help exfoliate the dead skin off of you when you're having a breakout and stuff like that but i use this every time i shower it's got very simple ingredients in it, stuff that's supposed to calm the skin and um, help, uh, you know, fight against breakouts and stuff like that. And it's by Two Goats and a Girl Goat Milk Soap, and it's handcrafted in all natural eczema relief goat milk soap. Um, it says it's calming, calming, moisturizing, and soothing, and I have to agree with all three of those things. This is the bomb I have purchased 
probably 10 of these over the past year. I mean, it takes about a month and a half for it to go, depending if you have that um, soap holder thing that you can use to lather it up on your body. Um, I find that it's easier to hold in the shower because it's so slippery, obviously, because it's soap. So that's why I have one of those. Um, I really do recommend this product, especially if you have eczema. It's helped me fight a lot of eczema problems. I mean, of course, it's not going to prevent it at all. Like, that's not the point of it. The whole point of it is just to help it, like help your skin feel better. It's supposed to help your skin feel more soothed and um, moisturized and hydrated when you get out of the shower rather than feeling dry and irritated. Um, Sometimes I still am itchy. Like I said, it's not going to prevent everything in the world from irritating your skin. It just helps. And that's why I really like this product. Um, here's a close-up of the label. Don't mind the nails. I painted them last week. I'll get to it this weekend. Um, and here's their... Um, here is the business card that I have. Of course, I can link this down in the description as well if you are looking to purchase this. There's other scents in this as well, but this is the one that doesn't really have a scent. So that way it doesn't irritate the skin when you're washing your body with it. Because you know you really shouldn't put scented items like that everywhere. Um, that's just like a known thing. And there's obviously other scents for these as well. And as for this as too. Um, but yeah, I thought you guys might like to see that if you struggle with skin problems like I do, aka atopic dermatitis, contact dermatitis, and eczema, then this stuff is for you. And if it's not, then there is something out there that can help you. Um, it's taken me a very long time to find products that I genuinely like, and they all come from Etsy. The last thing on my list that I'm going to show you that I said I forgot about um, is actually the sweatshirt. Um, what I did was I sent the seller a picture of me and Connor that I really liked. Um, and it's a picture that we took when we went to New Jersey a few years ago. And it's where he was kissing my cheek. So what they did was they took the outline of the picture and um, basically pressed it onto the sweatshirt. So me and him have matching sweatshirts. Um, I knew I should have gotten him a large because these shrink so easily sometimes. But mine fits, mine fits great, and he still wears his regardless, just because it's comfortable, it's cute, it's wearable, obviously, it's made to be worn, but I honestly couldn't love this enough, and it's great quality, although um, my hoodie string fell out when I washed it, but most hoodie strings do that, so I didn't bother putting it back in. Um, it's comfortable, and I love it. And I can definitely look up the seller for you. There's a bunch of sellers that do this, but the one that I chose did a really great job and it had the best stars that I saw on there. Um, yeah, just joking. I thought of one more thing. So this is actually something my, my parents got me for my birthday a few years ago. And I ended up repurchasing it for my cousins for their birthday and Christmas. And because it's so pretty, I just have to show it off to you. It's stained glass, but it's a jewelry holder. So it's unique. And it holds a lot of things in it and I absolutely am obsessed with it. I have a lot of my favorite pieces in here right now. They're all kind of layered, which I know isn't probably good, but um, I'm absolutely obsessed. I've been looking for this ring everywhere. <laughs> um, I'm absolutely obsessed with this jewelry box. It's tiny, but it is so chic and it's beautiful and it's like almost a one of a kind thing. It's handmade. I can link the seller down below as well if you guys want to get one of these for your loved ones or your friend or whatever. They're a bit pricey, but they're totally worth it. They're absolutely stunning. Um, if you look inside, um, it holds kind of a bit of things. It's got everything laid out there pretty nicely, but it has a chain right here that keeps the box from going backwards and breaking. And the bottom is felt. Uh, don't mind the dust on it. It's um, been on my drawer for a while um but yeah I I completely recommend this and again my parents got me this for um for my birthday and I love the color blue it's my favorite color so that's why it's in blue and they have a bunch of other colors too and you can also even request your own color I think um I again will link this in the description box down below so that way you guys can take a look for yourselves one last thing about the two goats and a girl soap brand that I got from here that I keep showing you guys I'm telling you good things about um they send you samples of other types of soap that they sell there as well just besides the eczema soap 
Um, granted, I can't really use all of the other kinds of soaps. Like the one that I got sent actually has berries in it and I have an allergy to berries. So I'll probably just give it to Connor or my mom. They can use it. Um, but they send different like samples and like about a size about, I think it's a good reference of what it actually is size wise. Um, it's really cute. It smells great. Um, and almost every time it's a different one. So that's a cool surprise too. Well guys, um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I actually had fun making it because it's a little different than doing just makeup videos all the time. Um, while I did get ready, I didn't show what I did. So if you were wondering, I'm wearing Makeup by Mario's lip product. I don't remember the name of it. Let me check. So it's Makeup by Mario's um, Ultra Suede Lip Pencil in um, the shade Johnny. So here's Johnny. Fun well, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, please subscribe if you want to see more from my channel. Um, leave a like if you liked it and comment down below um, what you would like to see from me in the next video and I will do my best to do all the requests that you guys want. Um, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!